It's a beautiful December morning. I'm in Malibu, California. I was about to take a hike. I knew that I was heading into a Malibu burn zone. I wasn't sure that the hike that I wanted to do had been affected by our recent fires, but check this out. This is the Zuma Canyon Trailhead. It's a hike I've never done before. The trailhead is closed. I can see behind me that this was a fire-scarred area. Look at this little stand of sycamore trees here. I can tell that they have been burned. So if this is a hike that you had ever hoped to do, don't do it right now. Hopefully after we get some additional winter rains, the landscape will begin to regenerate and they will open this trailhead again for hikers. So friends, I just wanted to point out a little bit of the devastation that I've noticed as I made my way to the trailhead here in Malibu. That used to be a house behind me. As you drive towards the trailhead, it's kind of a patchwork. Devastated and destruction. Other places, houses that are still 100% intact. Here's the wreckage of another house down the street that had burned. And when you see it, it's kind of overwhelming, but because I'm here, I don't just see it. I can smell it. Now, of course, I don't want to violate anybody's privacy, but you can see this was probably a pretty cool place to live. Look at the fountain here. That's still 100% intact. You can see the chimney because, of course, the bricks don't burn. But everything else is just smoldering wreckage. And again, the smell of smoke is still pretty overwhelming. Well, the hike that I had hoped to do isn't happening today. But I drove down then across the PCH, the Pacific Coast Highway, and park adjacent to Zoom Beach. So that's the hike I'm going to do today. So as I make my way along the beach at Zuma, I want to point this out. Here we can see how the uh, flames came all the way down nearly to the Pacific Ocean. Here, they're doing some cleanup, um, debris removal, and you can see how the houses this way were burned. It looks like the houses over here are still intact. And again, to put this in perspective, this bluff is directly across from the beach. So check this out. I'm simply walking across this street right here, and here, and here and here is the beach. So I parked my car on this road at, at Zuma Beach. I didn't drive into this paid parking area because I wanted to save some money. Over here is a nice, nice sculpted cliff and I can see people at the base of the cliff are actually engaged in some rock climbing. I'm heading up this trail right here. Here's a nice little overlook. I'm going to soak in the vistas and views. Down in this direction, I can see some fire-scarred hills of Malibu. Some still have some chaparral. I can see a nice bluff, and the beach below it is Paradise Cove. 
and in the very distant horizon, and I've actually never seen this before, I don't think my camera will be good enough to pick this up, but we have had some recent rains, and in the far horizon, I can actually make out the San Gabriel Mountains capped with snow. God. Well, here's where I'm actually going to wind up my walk today. Again, the initial hike that I had tried to do, I couldn't. So I ended up driving to Zuma and walked here to Point Doom. Sometimes people call it Point Dume. So again, in this direction, I'm looking down towards Paradise Cove. In that direction, behind me, I'm actually looking towards the point. And there is a little marker that you can read. I would be doing my final shot there, but believe it or not, it's too windy up there. So, for the sake of this video, this is where I'm ending my hike. But look at this over here. It is absolutely spectacular. Again, it's early December. It's mild out, a little high cloud, and again in the horizon, I can see some snow-capped peaks on the San Gabriel Mountain.